This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. Check out the new awesome P51-870 Titan Digital Manifold. And remember, 70 years of expertise built into every tool. And by UEI Test Instruments, home of the new DL-429B. UEI, Essential Instruments, Outstanding Service. All right. This customer says he's not home right now, but he said that this unit right here runs non-stop. Said it cools, but this, this unit never shuts off. He actually pulled the disconnect. So we're going to open it up and see if the contactor's welded. All right, well, the contactor is definitely not welded shut because it's not old. And you can, you can see there it's not shut. So this thing just must not be coming. I mean, he says it cools, but I don't know. We're going to run it and uh, check the charge on it for him. All right, so we got, you can see our pressures. Subcooling looks good. Superheat is a little high. So if we look at our chart here, now we'll go to my work phone. Eighty-five degrees. So we find eighty-five. And then we're gonna go over to a 42, cause that's what we are, we're a three and a half ton. One, 137 on vapor, 327 on the head pressure. The suction's about 10 PSI off. The head's just about there, right on target. And then down here, it says subcooling values. And you, you see right here where it says model? It says all. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, temp, this is temperature. All temperatures. Subcooling. We go over to, again, 42. We roll down. We are a 9-degree subcooling plus one we have eight and that superheat is starting to come down a little bit we're pretty damn close right there I mean I could maybe put him a squirt in there And he's got a stamp face grill in the ceiling, which means he's probably got a media filter or a filter rack on the back of the air handler with a one inch filter. Either way, we're gonna run up there and take a look at that and make sure that's not plugged up before we start adding charge. Okay, I know who did this job. They do horrible work. As you can see, the equipment's hanging with just some one inch strap. It does have a media filter. It's built in. Here's the clips right here. He's got an extra filter. No, it's not dirty. There's no date on it. Let me pull it out some more. I mean, it's a it's a little dirty, but it's not, it's not an issue. It's not, it's not time to change it. All right. He does have an extra filter, so obviously he knows to change it. It's hot up here. Yeah. Hanging with one inch strapping. Sloppy work. And we're running a piston. So we need to disregard the uh, 
that chart we just looked at for subcooling, see if it has a superheat chart, and then we'll take a wet and dry bulb and calculate it ourselves. All right, as you saw from the screenshot, our current superheat is about 23. It's recommending eight. So we have our 410 here. We're gonna add a little gas. Real slow. Barely cracking that open. I don't, I do not crack them wide open like some people. I just barely crack it. And I don't let much go in, I go slow. can see liquid moving through my sight glass. Superheat's already down to 19. We have a tolerance of five, plus or minus. So if we can get in around 13, 12, 10, somewhere in that area, I'll be happy. Superheat's dropping. That'll probably be, I'm not gonna open it. We're down to 15, 14. gonna do her. Yep, we're within our five right there. Subcooling's not bad. It's still at 11, 12. Superheat is at 12 also. Plus or minus five. We're within that range, so we're gonna stop right there. We are not gonna add any more gas. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for that one. That was an easy call. The people that put that unit in, there's a chance that they didn't even set the charge right when they started it up. I think it took less than a pound. I reweighed my jug, it was less than a pound. Had a uh, piston as you saw, so we brought the superheat down to the correct range. Not really much else I can do for him. Filter's clean, um, contactor's definitely not welded shut, it's brand new, we checked that. Everything checks out, so. It, it did seem to be dropping temperature. It did drop the temperature a couple degrees already when I went back in to lock up because he's not home. But um, other than that, everything looks good on it. So I just got off the phone with him and he'll keep an eye on it and he'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thank y'all for watching again. I truly, truly appreciate y'all and the support. We'll see you guys on the next one.